Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to another Utamekura's Gacha video. So today we don't really have too much to talk about because apparently <laughs> the missions for the Yamukure set has yet to update with brand new stuff. So uh, definitely I will be updating either the Instagram page or the YouTube community post uh, regarding whatever new stuff comes up for Yamukure uh, missions. But for now, just a reminder, Today is technically the last chance for you to purchase the discounted Saint packs with the Nian Kuji tickets if you are still trying to attain all the remaining copies of the exclusive New Year's episode plate. Um, so from this point of time that I'm recording this video, there's only 3 hours left before the server resets. And of course, there is still 8 days left for the um, regular discounted packs which gives you actually 500 singing stones and of course 500 seasonal spheres more or if you're trying to gain the new year's envelope discounted pack which I don't really recommend because the stuff you get from there isn't exactly fantastic so yeah uh, Nyan Kuji discounted packs and the regular discounted packs is what I will recommend you guys to purchase if you still have the money for it. Um, technically, if you usually buy um, discounted packs every month, I will recommend you to buy them now and and forego the um, February offer uh, if you're planning to buy discounted packs, you know, with a regular basis like I do. Anyways, um, let's talk about the brand new gacha, which is for Min Mei's um, Utame Cross exclusive Nian Nian costume so apparently if you guys saw the introduction commercial for the brand new costume when you restarted the server to play the event you will have noticed that there was um, a particular image let's see oh no it's not shown here huh that's strange anyways um, basically there was an illustration with her um, I think it was the pre-evolved image ah there we go so it shows this clipboard um, that you usually see in movies. So apparently this costume is used for a movie <laughs> that was filmed with Min Mei in the Utah Macross universe. So yes, so apparently this costume is a movie exclusive Utah Macross uh, costume. So yeah, anyways, um, it's a pretty adorable design, I, I think personally, because it does look a bit like Chun-Li's design costume. After all, it is a Chinese dress. <laughs> and of course, Min Mei's color is blue, so it does have that Chun Chun Li vibe. Anyways, um, if you guys are Min Mei fans, you should be happy because technically, this costume for Min Mei is attainable through the event episode plates, um, and you don't really need to buy or spend your singing stones on this um, featured gacha. Um, they do give you the event gacha tickets as well so technically you can avoid using any of the singing stones on this featured gacha itself to try and unlock the episode plate uh, or rather the costume and attain maybe a copy of this episode plate itself so let's take a look at the episode plate and see how it fares um, within this current generation of new brand new six star episode plates so total score at 25 plus plus luck value um, 3811 uh, without its plus 25 luck value, it comes in at 3,561, which is technically 7 points lower from the recent episode plates that Reina and Kanami um, got featured with. So it's not that bad. It's actually pretty decent considering that it's a, a 3,500 range for this generation's worth of 6 stars episode plates. So yeah, it is still a good consideration to try and attain it if you need it, that is. So the episode plate does give a high count on Soul, Charm takes second place and of course Voice takes the dump for the whole batch of stats. Anyways, pay attention to the three other divas that can use the episode plate because now that is technically very important in this current generation of Uta Macross events. Center skill, Soul up, so unit Soul is boosted by 90% up which is a fantastic center skill. Um, but hopefully the active skill does complement it, if not, it's kind of pointless. So active skill, alright, it gains the um, current generation's worth of active skill 
5 second 70% boost in score so it's not that fantastic but it does something um, if you guys have Min Mei's 7 star episode plate, maybe a blue series one that is currently for the main event song um, Xiao Pai Long. So yeah, if you guys have something like that, I guess this episode plate is not really needed. Life skill however, it is um, equipped with the brand new life skill that requires your Divas affection level. So it does come with a very good life skill. Uh, and of course, it's for a short duration ability, uh, which is fantastic for Xiao Pai Long because it's one of the shortest SDF Macross song out there. <laughs> so yeah. Is this plate worth your money? Let's take a look at the last page to find out. Sadly to say, it is definitely without a special note attached to it because it is still an episode plate with a brand new life skill. So until Dana decides to dis distribute episode plates with such life skills with a special note attached to it, it is still technically a decent episode plate to try and attain considering that if you are a Kumo Kumo or Kaname fan or even Ranka um, yeah you why not attain this episode plate for your special waifu um, so that they may use it in the next month's last event of the month which is the diva improvement event which you know if your waifu is either of these four women Equipped with all these episode plates with the affection level that's 120% boost for each of these episode plates. Can you imagine having four of them equipped on your waifu? And then you have um, short duration life skill improvement episode plates. That is a lot of high score. <laughs> it will probably attain you a very good uh, maybe 10 million high score with just a single diva. Can you imagine that? It's really very hard to come by in this current age of Utah Cross. So yeah, anyway guys, enough talking. Like I said, um, for Kaname and Reina's episode plate, if you don't have life skills of this kind within your collection, it's always nice to have at least a few of them uh, hanging around your collection just in case. You know, considering that this life skill is technically the new meta now, um, yeah, even even better than score and damage. <laughs> considering that this life skill just needs you to put in effort to increase your diva's affection levels to its max capabilities of level sixty, uh, it does take a bit of time. But with you know some devotions to your waifu, I think it's definitely going to be worth your time. Alright, so with that done, let's do all the usual stuff. Let's pull all the free daily pools first. I do have Super Dimension tickets and a guaranteed 5 star ticket to use because they're gonna expire. So I'm pulling this during the evening session. So let's see how the luck is for today. Alright, so no load bars at all for the free pool. That's fine. Ooh, single Valkyrie. Huh. Is this hinting that today's luck is towards the good side? I don't know. Alright, let's skip this. We know it won't change. How rare is this blade? Uh, it's pretty okay. Not too insane of uh, digits. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the... Maybe we do the free pool from the main banner first before we start on all the super dimension stuff. Alright, here we go. Free pool. I probably won't use my singing stones on the Min Mei Gacha event because I would like to keep it for maybe next month. We, we do have um, Freya's Yam Kure costume <laughs> to try and attain as well, so that's gonna be a problem. Alright, so now no low bars for this one. It seems like we are going towards the double digits, but at least they are the low, count, low count of double digits, so that's not too bad. Alright. Okay, let's go for the Super Dimension Gacha Pool first. Gonna do a template pool because tickets are gonna expire. I'm sure you guys have some tickets that's gonna expire as well. So make sure you guys take note of that. Ooh, 27. Okay, you can probably pull another template pool in the upcoming Rankas Gacha. Hmm, no load bars at all? Interesting. Okay, here we go. One, one Valkyrie? Today is a one Valkyrie day. Okay. Ooh, at least we got a red box. What? 
Rainbow? Seriously? But there was no load bar, so it's gonna be a, an, an old episode play that I probably have already. Okay, let's skip all the common stuff. Here we go. Yep, old episode plate. At least it's a pretty rare one. Um, this one was the Halloween edition, if I'm not wrong. Is it evolved? Yep, it's evolved. Okay, so let's see how how good of an episode plate this is. Three thousand five hundred and forty-eight. Yeah, it's about there for this uh, current generation of episode plates. Uh, active skill, life skill, it's okay, it's decent, it's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, at least it's something. Anyways, let's move on to the main featured banner. Let's see how today's luck is for the main banner itself. You know, it, it, it'll be nice if I can attain the episode plate, but you know, not having it as well, it's okay considering that we can unlock the costume through the event episode plates. So yeah, it's nice that Dana is pretty generous in that side. Don't really leech money off you. Well, uh, at certain times. Yeah. We, we've seen how devious Dana can be. <laughs> okay, so it seems like today is really the one Valkyrie day. Alright, so not really expecting too much. If we don't get anything from it, it's fine, it's fine. As long as you give me Ranka's costume. Because that, that costume is definitely locked behind the main gacha. So. Alright. Okay, here we go. Alright. Oh, a bit of clan clan love. That's fine. Alright, so like I said, nothing fantastic for today, but... Luck today seems a bit dry as well, considering that we don't really see any load bars. So, hmm. Anyways, let's end this gacha with the guaranteed five star uh, ticket because I guess I guess Dana really twisted my luck, considering that my <laughs> ticket is going to expire in two days. So, <laughs> kind of uh, convenient, I guess, <laughs> especially for a YouTuber like myself. Alright, let's end things on a good note. Let's see how rare of an episode played. Yeah, it really is a one Valkyrie day. But we do get that golden orb though. Alright, there we go. Oh, nice! At least it's a new episode played, so that's pretty awesome. Alright. So it brings me closer to... Actually, I think I already unlocked the costume for Makinas. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, guys, it's a nice thing at the end. It is one of the more recent new episode plates. And yeah, it, yeah, it has a decent life skill as well. It does count on the fold points, which is not exactly the best life skill out there currently, but it does something. So anyway guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys are doing well with all the missions. Uh, technically there are uh, there is just a few hours before the Kiawa challenge and the VOP challenge is going to disappear. Hopefully you've completed them already. Um you know uh, and of course if you guys are doing well for the Yami Kure missions as well, I'm 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 currently struggling with the full combo on Glow in the Dark. Uh, because like I said um, during the last few videos when I explained it um, I am only able to attain full combo for that song if my focus is like at its optimal at optimal peak <laughs> so it's pretty hard to do five full combos for that song personally for myself so anyway guys hopefully you guys are doing well for your own missions and challenges and of course, if you guys did awesome for your own personal gacha pools, let me know everything in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Until then, bye!